Hi and hello, I am Atina Pandian here. In this video, I am going to give some of the few important things about uh, uh, the biomedical engineering job. Particularly, most of them says, uh, most of the members says, uh, uh, what are the skills required for the biomedical engineers? And what are the skills required to get a job? All these things. How we are supposed to develop all the skills? So all over that, the title or the title of this particular video is how to develop your skills to get a biomedical job. Skill number one. See, biomedical engineering is nothing but is coming under the healthcare sector, right? So the first skill required for the biomedical engineer is you must know about the human body clearly. So the knowledge about the skills about the human body diseases disorders and what are all the symptoms and what are all the rectifications all these kind of the things as a biomedical engineer you should know that is the first skill is know about the human body very well number two is nothing but as a biomedical engineer you must be developed a knowledge about along with the human organs and the human accessories of human organs you must know about the vital signs of the human body that is normal and abnormal values of your vital parameters in the way of vital signals or vital imaging whatever it is for example you must know about the normal and abnormal value of your blood pressure like that there are so many numerical values are there so all the numerical values that determining your vital parameters you should know about it that is the second skill actually a biomedical engineer should require so the skill number three is nothing but as a biomedical engineer, you must know about the organs, you must know about the vital parameters and along with that, you must know about the basic instruments. The basic instruments is nothing but many of them trying to know about the radiology, many of them trying to know about the x-ray, CT, these are all the, not only the things for biomedical engineering. All these major equipments you must be learned through the minor equipment, that is the basic equipments. In the basic equipment, through the basic equipments also, you must develop your instrumentation skills, how to deal the instruments, how to get a knowledge on the instruments. All these things you can able to get through this particular skill. So skill number three is learn or try to improve your skills on instrumentation part. Skill number four is nothing but you must develop your skill to how to open the devices whether it may be a television or whether it may be a radio or whatever it is in your home try to open the device how to open the device how to screw it and how to open the device all these kind of the skills as a biomedical engineer you must be developed it not only through the medical equipments you are supposed to open the practice to open the device for the small small equipment also for the small small devices home appliance devices also try to use them of the screwdrivers and try to open the device and try to learn this kind of the skills most of the biomedical engineers should not have. Especially the female candidates, they are not supposed to handle these kind of the devices to open the device and see what is inside it. So all these kind of the skills also as a biomedical engineers you require. So along with the instrumentation, you must know how to open the device. Use the screw and try to open the devices and see what is inside the device. That is the skill number four is nothing but develop your skills on open the instruments. Skill number five is nothing but develop your skills to know about the basic electronics and the basic calibration. How to troubleshoot, how to calibrate the equipment. For example, in a home itself, there are so many small, small calibrations required. Uh, the bulb is fused and some of the uh, televisions and some of the refrigerator makes some of the small uh, shoot required. All these kind of the things try to involve and rectify that particular issues. Make some curiosity to deal all these instruments to shoot the trouble and how to calibrate learning. So these kind of the things make the curiosity to open the medical devices and try to shoot the trouble and calibrate it. So the four, skill number five is nothing but improve your skills on basic electronics and basic calibration requirement. Last but not least skill is nothing but the biomedical engineer should know about the recent technologies and the market. This is the thing most importantly required because most of the institutional that is a final year and pre-final year students, they doesn't know about the market and the recent technologies. So that is the most important thing once you are going for the interview. Okay. So the last skill required is know about the recent technologies and the market. Thank you very much.